Most of the doors in my house are exactly the same, dark brown and weirdly sticky. When I was remodeling my bedroom, I decided it was the perfect time to give the closet door a bit more pizzazz. A little trim and some paint later, and it had a totally different look. I started by cutting trim pieces to make a French door look in the middle of the door. Since this door already had a clear indented center panel, all of my cuts were beveled cuts so that the new pieces matched up with the edges of the panel. Then I primed the piece. I used two coats of Zinsser's oil-based bonding primer, which is my go-to primer when I'm worried about the paint adhering. Since the brown finish that was already on the door was sticky and strange, I thought sealing it with the best primer I had was a good choice. I also was sure to use a disposable brush. The oil-based primer is a hassle to clean up, and it's much easier to just throw the brush away when I'm done. Once the primer was dry, I painted the door. Since I wanted the frame and trim pieces to be a different color than the center panel, I thought carefully about how to do this. My original plan was to paint the center panel, let it dry completely, then protect it with painter's tape while I painted the frame. However, I realized as I was painting that the way the edges of the center were routered, it was really easy to avoid painting the frame while painting the center. Since I didn't really want to wait for the center to dry before painting the frame, I nixed my original plan and just painted everything at the same time, making sure that the second coat of the center panel was the very last thing I did. I did two coats on everything, painting the trim pieces that weren't attached yet at the same time I painted the frame. I used the same paints on the door that I used on the walls of that room, Benjamin Moore's Gentle Cream and Gentleman's Gray. Once the paint was dry, I attached the trim pieces. I used wood glue to adhere them to the door, putting old textbooks on top of the trim to keep everything in place while the glue dried. I also used a speed square to make sure all of the pieces were perpendicular and kept a tape measure on one side to ensure everything was evenly placed. I moved the books when the glue was dry enough and started caulking all the gaps. Most caulks are water soluble when they're still wet so if you have some water and a little patience, it's a pretty easy way to make projects look more professional. In this case, I mostly caulked all the beveled trim joints, because that's where the worst gaps were. Lastly, I touched up the paint. Anywhere I added caulk, I went through and painted to match the trim. While I could have painted everything after attaching the trim pieces, I thought it would be easier to touch up the caulked parts at the end rather than trying to paint all the trim once it was on the door. Once I'd reattached the door to the frame, it was done. I absolutely love how the door brings a splash of color to the room. If you like it too, be sure to like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And if you want more information on this project, see the description below for links to the full blog post. Thanks, and don't forget to hit subscribe.